Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and I'm going to be talking about blocks. So, first of all, let's talk about what a block is. A block is an essential element of Drupal that it uses in order to display content in little areas. So, um, on your page, if we're looking at a, a Drupal page, let me go ahead and pop over to one so you can see here. There are different areas of the page that where you can put in blocks and uh, so if we go to the admin slash build slash block page we can see that there's a list of blocks that we can use to add to basically any area of our page uh, as you can see here in the configuration we have areas for the left sidebar the right sidebar the content area header footer and uh, disabled section for blocks that aren't currently being used and I've gone ahead and enabled a bunch of blocks so you can see sort of what what constitutes a block, what's a typical block that you'd see, why would someone create a block. So we can see here there's, there's a block for searching the site. So uh, this block is very simple. It just provides a form that somebody can fill out and search the site. The next one is provided by the Masquerade module. And this is a module that allows you to masquerade as a, as a different user so you can see what the site looks like from a different user's perspective. So these two are, are kind of functionality uh, blocks. They give you some exposure to a particular functionality on the site. But there's also other types of blocks that are mostly content based. So here we have the navigation block. And we can see here in our left sidebar, uh, excuse me, our left sidebar how this is structured. First we have masquerade, then we have navigation. So here's our navigation block here. And then below that we have a poll, which, which is kind of a combination between content and functionality. A poll is a node, um, but it also allows us to track users' uh, input. So these are just some, some common, common usages of a block. And creating a block in Drupal is really easy. Um, first of all, I, I want to explain why someone would use a block instead of some other type of uh, content wrapper. So if you've been coding in P Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.